Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. Thank you for hopping on and checking out what I am up to. So this is a thrift haul video. So, oh my goodness, not only do I love to make things over, part of making things over is going out and looking for them. So I visit thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales when they're in season here in Michigan, and just anywhere that I can find treasures. <laughs> So in today's video, we actually were supposed to go to a auction and we went to the auction, but we sat there mm, probably about 45 minutes into it and realized that we weren't going to be able to afford anything <laughs> at this auction. That's just how some auctions are. You can walk away with something or you can just bow your head and say, yep, this is not in my price range to resell. Not the prices that I would like to resell to you all for. So we decided that we would go to some of the area thrift stores because it was an hour out of town um, in the Lansing area. So we hit a couple thrift stores, a couple antique stores, just looking for items to resell. So along with that, and, and this week's haul is going to be, I was able to go to Goodwill, my local Goodwill every day. So first off, I'm gonna share that with you and then I will share what the other treasures I found when we were, yeah. Yeah, and that happens, you know, you, we've been to auctions that were like, yeah, these prices are not anything that I think um, I want to charge <laughs> for reselling or I, it's not worth my time. I'm not making enough money off of the item to be able to, yeah. Anyway, so let's get into this haul. So I was just amazed this week. Um, this week was the weekend between Christmas and New Year's where, where I, pick this all up. So I was pretty happy with a lot of the finds. As you see, I still have my Christmas up and I'm not ready to put it down quite yet. Maybe take, maybe next video you'll see it. I'll have my Santa's down, but not quite yet. So I know you're like, if I get into the hall. So first, first off, look at this beauty. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love these hand carved wooden baskets. Um, this one at the thrift store was 10 29 we actually had a local business, um, it was a Hallmark store that sold these. So I would assume that this is probably one of them that came from their store. Um, I have one in my own personal collection that I absolutely love, which is like twice the size of this one. So, but um, last few ones of these that I picked up, I've actually picked up quite a few. I've sold in the booth, I put on eBay. Um, this one just has some beautiful, just some beautiful, just aged, not aged patina, but just what the wood did. Just the wood had holes and it had knots. And this one, um, the last one I sold, I showed you all how to fix a crack, but this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, if anything, I might oil it before I sell it just to know that it's going to get a drink <laughs> before it goes on to its next home. This caught my eye. I think there's something that should be hanging off of it or you hang a plant off of it. It could just be a plant hook. Um, I love the color of the, the metal. It's got that beautiful, you know, I love galvanized watering can. So that watering can right off the bat caught my eye. This, I, I think this is absolutely a gorgeous piece. I paid $7.99 for this. So I don't know if I, if somebody will want it or I will just wait to put it into my outdoor booth. I loved this one. Uh, one of the comments I get a lot are if I skin up <laughs> on this cover and I amazing wooden swans that I have had for decades that I actually bought out of a catalog. I kid you not, y'all, for $14.95 for the set. Terry's Village, I think the catalog was back in the day when we ordered stuff out of catalogs. Um, but so I know how swans and ducks and um, loons, loons especially seem to, I would go, for me anyway, swans, loons, and then ducks <laughs> as how it sells. So when I saw this loon, I thought, oh my gosh, he, she, beautiful, beautiful. This was $9.99, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, primitive, doesn't even have to be primitive. It's just a beautiful piece. Just, and it appears to be, I mean, it could be manufactured, but it appears to be hand carved, but still a beautiful piece. And then I found this three set. I love when I find a three set. 
of candlesticks, but you know how Goodwill is. <laughs> they price them all separately. Um, so yeah, I had to buy them all because you don't, it's really hard to get a tear down three set. So I'll probably add some piece of wood to that. It was, they were $5.29 and then $4.29 a piece, but I usually can get um, $32.35 for if I have a three set resell. So I didn't think that was too bad. And then I thought this little hanging lantern was very sweet. I personally would like to make it black. So I probably will do a metal makeover on this one. And this one was $4.29. I just love, you know, you can, it can be outdoor, it can be indoor. You can put one of the flameless battery operated with the clicker. I love those. Those are awesome <laughs> that you don't have to worry about burning. And then I was on the fence on this one. This was $6.29. It was a riser, but it was sea turtles. I'm calling them sea turtles. Oh my gosh. I and pewter. This is pewter, so it's a nice metal. Um, Cynthia Ro Rowley. Cynthia Rowley. I don't know anything. I tried to look the maker up, but I could not find it. It is in pristine, pristine, beautiful, beautiful. If you are a turtle fan, I am an animal fan, so it doesn't matter what type of animal you are. I thought this was a beautiful riser tray. And, the, <laughs> and then this, I had to take a double take on this cloche. It actually has um, embossed etched daisy flowers on it. It was just, just the cloche. It was $3.29. It was just the cloche though, but I love cloches. I do usually have a couple in my booth. I have a couple of my own decor. I can't say that they're fast sellers, but I do love gathering little items underneath the cloche and that's how I a lot of times I'll display them in my booth sometimes I'll just display them on a piece of wood just to give a person an idea of what to do with it. and I almost passed this up this was over with the in a different section but that's how goodwill people pick it up they put it back down somewhere else but it was a little cream a bread box that is in wonderful shape it's just a little guy it's just a little size um now design i don't know who sells now design um but it's it's i mean my heart because i like white i would want to redo it but i'm not going to because it's in great shape it already has bread there's no dings there's no anything on it so i will just leave it as is but um 529 so not it's nice but it's just a nice little you could put it in your pantry you can put it on your countertop it doesn't really matter and then I know we're kind of, I know people are probably all taking their Christmas down, but a plaid thermos, Aladdin thermos. Oh, come on. I had, I had to, I had to. Um, last few ones that I picked up, I sold on eBay. So I might pop this on. Maybe somebody else is still collecting these. I know. I mean, red goes into not only just for Christmas, but red goes into Valentine's day. And then, I mean, this is just a look. Some people do their kitchens red all year long. So I, and people can probably use them. I'm sure that they, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure that they do. And then somebody must have turned in the rusty, crusty kitchen. God wink moment. I am like, oh, right time, right time. Look, look at that. Oh my gosh. So much rusty, crusty goodness on this sister. Oh my gosh. I mean, you could use it if you wanted to, but beautiful decor piece. Just wait, there's a few more items along with this greater look at that patina on there oh my goodness and then there was this other what are these little nutmeg graters um i don't know uh, i'll probably have to work to get the lid off but the lid won't come off right now but i just I, there's something about that patina on there and hold on i'm not done yet there was a few more pieces like I said, it was a whole collection. <laughs> and there, there's this other grader. You know, there's so many ideas I have in my head to sh share with you all. So I'm working on them. We've got some biscuit cutters. The beautiful, I love these age. These, these to me have been well loved and used. And then look at this sweet little duck. It's a whole little rusty crusty theme, kitchen theme going on here, y'all. And then what well, last piece, last piece, I don't know why. It's a little, little, little cupcake, little tart. I don't know. With the littlest little horse cookie cutter on it. Oh my gosh, can't, can't you just see that already put into a decor? Oh, 
even this up. Oh my gosh, my mind is just, my mind is just a spinning. Just a spinning. Hold on, I need some of my. Oh, my son, my son got a oh, mom and dad Ray Dunn mugs. Are my thrifter son bought all thrifted gifts basically for Christmas and I absolutely loved it. So I'm one person that can drink coffee all day long and it does not bother me, even though I do not. I do not drink coffee all day long. I don't, I'm not a pop drinker. I'll drink one coffee in the morning, one coffee at night usually. So, and then let's see, look at this. It was a, a fall theme longing burger basket. It had the liner in it. It had the lid and it had the fabric and it was $8.29. Um, so I have, I have resold. I do have a few in the booth longing burger baskets, but I know the liner, the plastic liner is a must. <laughs> the fabric is a must. And then having the lid is even better. So, so if anybody's a collector, let me know if you're looking for that one. If not, I'll probably just put it in my booth. And then, oh, look at this little brat. Is his ears not the sweetest? A little brass mouse. I don't, sometimes the tags come off, y'all. I don't know. But oh, his ears just got me. His ears are so stinking cute. So cute. I can't pass up animals. Yeah, there's quite a few animals coming up next, guys. And then a Jim Shores kitty cat. Oh my gosh. That tail is so delicate. I was a little bit nervous. Sorry if I have paint on my fingers. <gasps> I just finished an awesome dresser makeover. Diane, I finished your dresser that you gave us. Oh my goodness. The viewer Diane that gave us the, let us go into our mom's estate early, early and gave us that dresser. Y'all, if you have not seen that video, I just completed literally like just completed the stenciling on the draw. Oh, I just, you, I, I, mm, I should, I, I want to show you it now, but we'll have to wait, wait, wait. Anyway, <laughs> we got a Jim Shores little kitty. Oh my gosh. I, I do the Jim Shores. I put it online. I know it sometimes sits, sometimes goes fast, but I don't pass it up when I find it. And then maybe the turtle plate person had the also donated the wooden turtle. Oh my gosh. I love the primitive colors of him so hey he's 329 oh my gosh he's so super cute carved little wooden turtle i was on the fence about this one but there was the cuteness overcame the weirdness of how they did legs on him <laughs> to me i think it's i know it's supposed to be a pig but my, if you look from the back it would kind of remind me of a hedgehog <laughs> of a hedgehog kind of but the nose the nose is definitely a pig so i don't know oddity that's a I still I love farmhouse. We live in a farming community. So I like to have animals. Like to put animals in the booth. And my next animal, that I was surprised by this one. Um, I'm like, oh, that's a saw glazed kitty. So this one was $4.29. Yeah. Um, the signature, I think, is right here. I can't really read it in the dark darkness. But um, yeah, saw glazed kitty. Is he not the sweetest? He's a nice size. Nice size. I've done the Santas and some of the salt gillies, but I hadn't run across a kitty before. To go with the mouse theme. I have my ducks in a row, which I think these are swans, ducks, swans, ducks, whatever you want to call it. So for $3.29, I picked up these. Brass animals um, are something that will sell either in my booth or on eBay for me. So I, I will pick those up. And I'm sorry, all that wanted those cows. I did not have a clue that so many people were going to want those cows. So and when it comes to when I show a haul video, you, you need to pop over to eBay and look quickly. I don't do a lot of auctions, so I usually do buy it now. So a lot of people had messaged about the brass cows I showed a couple weeks ago. And they had sold right off the bat. So then look at this. It's a glass, a Rano style glass squirrel. I love that gray hue of it. I love the shading of his little tail. I really, it was only $2.29. So I really had to look him over because I'm like, okay, where's his chip? Where's his chip? Is he broken? Is he broken? No, he's not. He is adorable. Oh, squirrels are just funny. Squirrels are funny little guys. And uh, let's see. And then, and then talk about, talk about animals. So I saw this, talk about farm and community. And it just caught my eye. It's not something I normally would pick up these resin pieces, but I thought that horse is beautiful. I know people, it's the Mary Moo collection. So this was $5.29. I know 
the Mary Moo collection is collectible. Well, this is the John Deere Mary Moo collection. So I looked up this one while we were in the store. And yeah, um, the last one had sold for $129. So whether mine will sell for that on eBay or not, because I don't really necessarily do auctions very um, much, but I will go ahead and pop this guy on, probably figure out a general price of what they did sell for. But yeah, it was the horse that caught my eye. I, the cow was cute as a button, but the horse was what really caught my eye in that piece. So I can't believe that I ran across another matchbook holder. So this was $3.29 at the Goodwill. Look at somebody had hand painted on it. It's a very nice job. Hand. I love the green. I love that vintage green look of it all. So it is funny how you um, run across something and then you find more. <laughs> And then I thought these two things were absolutely gorgeous. Little trinket holders, jewelry holder. Look at that. So um, I don't know who sells them. They're, there's not anything cost plus, cost plus incorporated. I don't know. I just thought they were pretty. It's, it almost has that vintage antique vibe to it. So you got a horse, a uh, elephant. Um, this is probably a bird under the sticker. Well, I guess I'm out of the store. I could take that off. Nope. Yeah, it's a peacock. So there's a peacock underneath there. I thought that one was beautiful. And then they were sitting next to each other. So it was just a little trinket, you know, or just a little cute display. So yet again, all it says is cost plus. So I just thought, I just thought they were pr really pretty. Very pretty. You know, I don't know if I have paid full price for a candle since I started this journey of secondhand shopping. So Though I have to be careful because I never regained my sense of smell after having COVID two years ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was this little Ray Dunn Believe candle. Chris was with, with me so he could smell that. It, he said it smelled like coffee, so it was a good smell. But yeah, I, I don't know. I have not bought a candle full price because there's so many brand new ones in the thrift store. And in the winter time, um, I can't say that I light them. My family likes to light them. So I, I personally, I have a tendency to light candles after I, after I've cleaned. I don't know why. Um, but I'm always happy to find them at a discounted price. So for $3.99, there was this odd, <laughs> um, I, at first you think, oh, it's an arrow, but I think it, what it's supposed to do is stick it in, in the ground. <laughs> so at first you're like, where's the other part of the arrow? Then after studying it, I think that part's supposed to stick in the ground. So that's kind of nice. I love stars. If they're cost efficient to pick up, I will always pick up stars. They resell, so I like to have them in my hoard. And then this, I thought this was cute because it was small. Everything small is cute. So for $5.29, I picked up this. It's green in color. Um, I'd really like to see it white with some rusty crusties. I really like that new rust um, paint that I bought off of Amazon. Um, so I'd probably see how that worked. I don't, I don't know. I'm sure it's just a Hobby Lobby piece, LTD. This one's a LTD. Yep, LTD, 1999. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I did get this other star, this other star. Um, I love the base of it. It's kind of like a hammered type of look. Um, I don't know, there's just something about shelf sitters and there's something about stars. I just, I love stars, so. And it's funny because quite a few years, probably four or five years ago, I had a garage sale and I thought, oh, I keep buying too many stars. So I had a garage sale and I, oh, I had a whole table of stars, y'all, just like primitive, vintage, rusty, crusty stars. And then they all sold <laughs> at that garage sale. And then slowly I started adding them back into my decor. Isn't that funny? You're like, well, I don't want to do that anymore. And then you're like, next thing you know, you're buying them all again. <laughs> Now these caught my eye. These were all donated at the same time. Now they're kind of tribal, tribal. Um, and there's actually an artist that makes those. So I did pick these up, this little three piece. This is, at first you think this is like for jewelry hanging or, and it's not, it's just a um, metal, metal work. So these will go on eBay. Um, there's the, 
I don't know the artist right off hand, but yeah, there's an artist that makes these. So I don't know, you know, that's my whole point is reselling. So I went ahead and picked those up. Just, they caught my eye. I, I love art. I love handcrafted art. I have a high respect for it of people that can create. Oh, let me see if this one needs to be fixed. Oh, there you go. Okay, now I feel better. Now I feel better at all in the right way. But yeah, there was nothing. Somebody probably just, just got tired of them. You know, that's what we women do. We're like, well, I've had that up in my decor for a while, so now it's time to change, time to change that. And then look at, okay, so do you see flower or do you see propeller? But it's a beautiful, heavy base, beautiful, heavy base. It's well made. Um, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I don't know that maker, Steinmart. Steinmart? Steinmart? Is Steinmart a thing? I may, I don't know a Steinmart. We probably... Not in our, my area. I've never gone to one. I think that's what that said. But I thought this was a beautiful flower. <laughs> I'm calling it a flower. And, but, you know, as I'm staring at it, I'm like, propeller? But anyway, it doesn't matter. It is a cool piece. Um, I like it as is, I think. Um, I'd like to actually see the petals be a little bit rusty, crustier. The base is beautiful. The base is absolutely gorgeous. So what, whether I do a little more to the petals. <laughs> I'm not sure. And then my last, my last part of this haul before I show you what I got when we were in Lansing, um, was a big stack of Dr. Seuss books. I'm a huge Dr. Seuss fan. Um, they just happened to come out at the cart. They were $1.29 a piece. I know one of the ladies that has an antique booth where we are and worked with my child. Um, she resells children's books a lot. And I'm like, you know, that's one of the books I kept um, as my children aged. I kept all the Dr. Seuss books that my kids ever had. So I thought, you know what, I should pick these up and see if anybody needs any or resell, you know, to resell them, to get them out there to other people. Um, yeah, because some of them, I mean, Cat and Hat, Green Eggs and Ham, I know all that. Um, some of them are a little bit newer, maybe. Um, I don't know if I'd ever seen this one. Oh, oh, the thinks you can think. I don't know if I've ever read that one. I mean, I know I had one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Oh, we read a lot of those books when my kids were little, but that's okay. I loved a good book fair. I loved a good book fair. So that is it for my week of going daily at our local thrift store. And I have to say the week between Christmas and New Year's, I at least came home with one or two items every day. So let's, let me share with you. Yep. It was just a fail at that auction, but it happens. God has other plans. So we just rerouted to find, you know, good thing for Google. <laughs> and you can look for area antique stores and thrift stores to go and see what else you can find to resell. Here are some of the items that we found when the auction was a fail and we went searching for um, thrift stores, secondhand stores, antique stores, looking for items that we could flip and resell. So right off the bat, there were just some of these cute little candle holders. This one's, um, it appears to be brass, but I, I don't know if it is. It is all scratched up. It's got lots of, but I would like to put a little battery operated candle in there and a little pitberry wreath along with this little cutie. Look at that with the handle. I found this one first, so when I found that one, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I think I can make that one cute too. And then I thought the spoon was super cute. Smell the coffee, Java. Then it has a little um, clock wake up i'm like oh my gosh on your coffee bar area would that not be too cute look at there's a little coffee bean in it now i picked this up only because <laughs> i had that hanging lamp from the previous you know just a little bit ago and i'm like oh well that'd be nice to display in the booth um have some something hanging on 
And then, yes, I'm going to pick up a Pipberry wreath and a Primitive Candle that's spider operated. Love these things. And I cannot believe I found a fairy light with a little votive inside. Oh my gosh, no chips or cracks. That nice amber color. Couple flower frogs. And I saw all these and they were super cheap. Um, they're little butter pads and they're more of that restaurant wear with the green. I wish they were ironstone. I'd be keeping them myself, but I'll go ahead and resell these. I have good luck with this green lined restaurant wear. So, yeah, they were, yeah, 50 cents a piece. <laughs> so uh, I had a few and then I went back and bought them all. Chris found this cute little measuring tape. I think it's a five feet. These are just handy dandy. And it's old. It's old. Let me see. I, I don't know if I can do this one handed. Uh, there you go. Pull it, <laughs> pull it out. It's a measuring tape. And then these are just always nice. You know, rusty, crusty, galvanized gets me. An old ball jelly jar. And then this is a berry picker, y'all. If you are, we have blueberries here in Michigan. So lots of people are always looking for blueberry pickers. Usually I can't touch them at auctions. So it was nice to run across one of these, but I knew what it was. <laughs> That's always the thing. Do you know what it is? Couple spool, well, one spool, I guess. It was just one spool, but I can't pass those up along with these primitive battery operated candles. And look at this little cutie. I think it was maybe a bowling pin, a juggling. I don't know. I just, I always like them. I'm drawn to wood. And I like this. This caught my eye right off the bat. I know that it's newer, um, but it reminds me of cast iron, some place to put a little picture, a bit of vintage postcard or vintage picture. Way cool. I, take, I had to take these down. They were um, <laughs> tipping. It was good for the picture, but not so good. So these are those older printer cabinet, or like they put their printer, printer blocks in them. They're awesome to put on your wall for just extra decor to back something up. So I ran across two of them. And as you see, they're dirty, but that's okay. We can get them cleaned up. So those were nice. Like if I not make you dizzy, uh, I have one behind my display up here. So yeah, I, I just like that pop with all my whites and my lights and my other woods. I love those tones and I found a few over the years to be able to resell. Well, I seem to be drawing towards the primitives lately. So I thought this little crock was neat. I don't know if it was supposed to have a lid or not. And when we ran into that Goodwill, they had a beautiful uh, pitcher jug crock that was huge. It was huge, y'all. It was huge. But when I got it up to the register, I did not realize that the handle was completely smashed and had been badly glued back together and it had a heart on it. So I decided, even though it was only $6.29, I knew myself would tend to keep grabbing that handle too often. So I put it back not to deal with that <laughs> at all. And I thought, oh my gosh, this little cubby was way too cute. These little cubbies just come in handy. Um, I'm not really a textured paint person on, on wood. Um, so whether I remake this over, I, my plans are to remake it over, you know, unless somebody is a mustard yellow person. And then look at this Rusty Krusty. I, at first, when I saw this Rusty Krusty, I thought, oh, that's a new Hobby Lobby piece, you know, but no, it actually has some weight to it. So yeah, it is actually older than we think. So that was fun. Now this little well bucket, I'm going to call it, is definitely a newer piece. It has a made in China <laughs> sticker, but it's still, still pretty cool. It's still cool. And then, yeah, y'all, a crock, one of the antique stores. I'll keep this for myself. It is cracked. They were having a 25% off sale. So it, this one was $25, then 25% off. So that is a great price for a salt glazed crock especially when it has stamping. So I will keep this in my collection myself. I wouldn't want to ship it with a crack in it at all. And 
Crocs don't really sell in my retail booth. It's just weird. It, I don't know why. They just don't. Um, cute little sheep. Oh, I'm going to pass that little guy up. This is just a paper towel holder that we need a new one that fit in our bar area. One that I have now that I thrifted did not. And I cannot believe this find of the day. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I know you see my boxes for my Christmas. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I cannot believe that I found a song vase and it was actually in a booth that was 50% off. So, oh, so this will probably be going on eBay. I kind of have stopped the whatnot. I just don't have time to do all that work that whatnot is going to take with all the other stuff that I do. So just slowly I put glassware in our booth and then now I'm doing piece by piece on eBay. So thank you so much for watching today's thrift haul. I have a few items, yeah, that I'll probably be making over later on in another video. And as always, you all, um, uh, some of the items that I feel like might be wanted, I'll list on eBay. The others will go into our inventory or into our retail booth. So as always, if you see anything you like, check it out soon. <laughs> check out my eBay soon. That will be linked down below. Along with if there's something that's not listed, give me a shout out. I can tell you that I hadn't listed it yet or... And then I can list it for you or I can tell you that it already sold. So anyway, thanks again for watching today's thrift haul. And as always, tell me which one of the items I found when we were out and about. And I'm not sad that I had to walk away from an auction empty handed. It is what it is. You just know what you're going to pay the price for something. So I don't really consider it a huge fail. It just was a reroute. It was more of a reroute. So again, thanks for watching today's video, guys. And as always, if you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. And if you are new and you're checking out this channel for the first time, and you liked what you saw, don't forget that I also do makeovers is my big part of my videos. And oh, I can't wait to share that dresser with you all. So again, thanks for watching guys. And we will see you next time and you can see what we're up to. Bye. So I had to add this in. The next time I stopped at my local Goodwill, the croc was there. It was still there. It was $6.29. So see the handle, somebody broke and it got glued back on. So you definitely do not want to pick it up by the handle. It is not secure and it has a heart on it. <laughs> oh, so the resell unfortunately is not quite there when it, I like hearts. I know I love the swirls. It's a beautiful, beautiful crock. Um, I can't really read that, but a 1986 so so I'm just gonna add it into my decor flip it around got some dirt on it <laughs> but and remember not to pick it up by this handle uh, you know God wink moment I passed it the first time because of the broken handle but I'm like you know what I don't care it's character it's a beautiful crock I'll just turn it around because the heart, unfortunately, doesn't really fit into my theme, but uh, it's beautiful. What would you have done? Would you have passed it by, too, because of, I mean, look how broken that is, y'all. Um, and it's not so much that it was, if, even if it was broken all the way off, but you're, you want to grab it like this, you know, but you know you shouldn't because I don't know what kind of glue they use it used on it too but anyway there you go weak moment it was meant to be i grabbed it for the 629 <laughs>